Hello and welcome to another Raspberry Pi tutorial by me, the Raspberry Pi Guy. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a new application called the Pi Store. The Pi Store is, in its most simplest form, an app store for the Raspberry Pi. It was recently announced by the Raspberry Pi Foundation, I'll show you that in a minute. And it's a download, and so your Raspberry Pi must be connected to the internet either via Ethernet or a Wi-Fi dongle. In this tutorial I'll be using Raspbian. And I may be wrong, but I think that the store only works with Raspbian. If you're running an older version of Raspbian, though, don't worry, as I'll show you how to update and get the Pi Store. Please comment and watch my other videos, and if anything goes amiss, or you'd like to tell me uh, about your product, or require any assistance in any way, then I'm more than happy to help you. Simply comment on my video, or email me at therospypyguy.gmail.com. I've had tons of emails and tons of comments, so if I will try to answer them within a week. I normally have um, a day, where an hour really, where I just go through them all and answer them. But uh, it's also good to see that um, other people are answering my comments for me, and that's always good, and I'm really grateful for that. So, let's be moving on. What does the App Store hope to achieve? This is the Raspberry Pi website, and as you can see, this was the post where they announced it. It's only a week ago, so it's pretty recent. And it's... I'll just give you some basic information about it. This is what the uh, Pi Store would look like. I'm going to show that in a minute. That's not very big. And it's an application under Raspbian which allows users to download comet, uh, content and to upload their own content for moderation and release. So basically what you can do is download other people's work or if you say you make an awesome app, awesome game, you can put it on the Pi Store either for free for people to download or um, at, at a price. Because at the moment, there is a very cool app called Storm in a Teacup, which is a sort of platform adventure game, and that costs £1.99 on there. I can't remember if it's pounds or dollars. And they hope that the Pi Store will provide young people with a way to share their creations with a wider audience and maybe to make a little pocket money along the way. Because, as I said, you can sell them. So. Let's change to our Raspberry Pi. First we've got to boot it up and enter the desktop environment. So once you've booted up your Raspberry Pi, it's going to look similar to this with your wallpaper and your shortcuts, but I've rearranged my shortcuts and changed my wallpaper. The first thing we're going to do is update our, our issue of Raspbian, unless you've already used a, a already updated your Raspbian or you've just downloaded it and put it onto an SD card you you will need to do this step if you are one of those lucky people who have just put it onto an SD card and got a brand new Raspberry Pi say just skip ahead a few minutes and you'll go straight to how to actually use the Pi Store you also notice that I've already got Pi Store um, installed here and I'll go on to that in a minute so the first thing we're going to do is open up the terminal which is here or you can get it through the start menu and you're going to get a window like this. And the first thing we're going to need to put in is sudo apt-get update space and and sudo apt-get install pi store. Now the command will look like that. I'll just move the camera so you can see. sudo apt-get update and and sudo apt-get install pi store. And then press enter. And that's going to update Raspbian for you and install pi store. If you're ever prompted to continue with the operation, as that will probably say that, press Y and then enter, and after it's finished, you can close the terminal. Pi Store is now um, downloaded and installed. You'll probably get an application like this, and to initiate Pi Store, double click on it, or you can get it from the start menu uh, down in the bottom left corner. So double click this and you'll get a window similar to this. It'll come up with a Raspberry Pi logo and loading at the start but after that you'll, you'll have a window similar to this. Now you'll notice that I'm logged in here as a Raspberry Pi guy and I haven't assigned myself a, uh, an avatar yet. You, what you're going to need to do is make an account so but we can do that in a minute when we're just about to download our first thing. This is the general interface of the app. It's nice and friendly. You've got loads of categories here, all games, specific games, apps, uh, tutorials, and development tools, and media, 
applications and you'll notice that most of the majority of them are free we've got favorites like LibreOffice which is uh, a Microsoft Office-esque type application which allows you to word process and make PowerPoints or power similar to PowerPoints and you've got Shizm Tracker here which is I'll, I'll probably do a tutorial on that later and that's just how to create music it's an application pretty old one actually that allows you to create music but you'll we'll also have a look at games here most of them are free we've got Raspberries which was a game created in the 48 hour marathon that raised uh, funds for the Raspberry Pi Foundation and you've also got a platform game here called Storm in a Teacup this is a highly polished game I, I showed you uh, earlier and that's £1.99 as I said but the majority of things are free to install a an app all you have to do is click on the free download so let's find something that I'd like to install so say we go into apps and I want to install graphics 2 which is I'll read it a pixel art drawing program with many features very useful for drawing sprites for your game project so what we do is click on free download and mine's going to download it automatically into the my library section but what, you, what you're going to need to do if this is your first time starting the Pi store it's going to come up with a login screen now the login screen is a bit daunting because you need to make yourself an account and simply scroll down and uh, if you haven't already got an indie uh, city account then you have to register one put in your email address password security questions etc and press ok and that means you can then download things and you have to remember all your password and stuff because that's how you use the pi store but i've already done that now once you've done that you have this come up here install in progress and then the lx terminal will pop up saying reading package list downloading this downloading that and that is how to use the pi store in a nutshell all you have to do is make yourself an account and you can then download lots of things for free but if you want and then you can also upload your own software and share it with the world you can also buy stuff and i imagine that will need a credit card or debit card and to put in details like that uh, it's a very good tool and I I've used it quite a lot it's uh, really useful and it just makes sudo apt get a lot simpler so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial I hope you find it informative if you think I've skipped over any bits or thought that any of it was wrong please comment in, in below I'm open to any suggestions for new tutorials and uh, I look forward to hearing all of your emails about what you're doing with Pi Store and all of your projects with the Raspberry Pi. Uh, as I said, please subscribe and please watch my other tutorials. And until next time, bye.